Chipotle apparently is raising prices, and unlike Tucker and I, who say, hey, maybe it's gotten a little bit too expensive. I went yesterday, but yeah. Oh, you did? Oh, yeah, I was So starving. you're just complaining, and then you go anyway. Accurate. Okay. Paul, is that what everyone else is doing? It does seem that way. I mean, uh, Chipotle said in its most recent earnings call that, uh, you know, while avocado prices have cooled a little bit, they are still seeing, uh, you know, inflation in a lot of other areas, dairy, tortillas, salsa, beans, rice, just about everything you would need to make uh, a burrito. And that, despite that, the uh, company said on its earnings call, and remember, sales were great, they said that the middle class and affluent customers were definitely still spending heavily, but that lower income customers were also returning Chipotle and spending a lot more as well. So I think that people are just, you know, definitely happy with the food and willing to pay these higher prices. And that's great news for Chipotle investors. The stock's at an all-time high now. Paul, just how good of a job has Brian Nickel done there since he came on board? Because he came on during a time where the company had some real questions, and it seems like every move they've made has just worked out fantastically since his uh, since he started there. Yeah, he has done a phenomenal job given that he came at a time when there were concerns about legitimate worries about the E. coli outbreak and what that was going to mean for uh, the uh, the company, uh, you know, back in, uh, you know, 2015 and 2016. And, you know, Nicola's definitely turned uh, Chipotle around. Uh, I think most people have probably forgotten that incident. You don't hear too many people complaining or worrying about going to Chipotle and getting sick. And, you know, the, the immediate uh, rebound, uh, you know, in the, the few years after that uh, problem, that was the reason why when I was, uh, you know, back at uh, CNN Business, we named uh, Brian Nickel the CEO of the year for uh, for 2018, and clearly he's continuing to do a great job because stocks at a record high. So it's obviously done even better since uh, you know 2018 when we uh, you know gave him praise back then. What's Chipotle doing these days in terms of expansion for new locations, or is it mostly same store sales growth that is driving things for them? Yeah, it's it's really the same store sales growth that is phenomenal. I mean, to have double digit uh, same store sales growth uh, at a company this large is just really a testament to the fact that uh, you know consumers really love the food. So you have your your amazing same store sales growth. Obviously, inflation and the higher prices are uh, you know adding into that, but. I think what a lot of people give uh, Chipotle credit for now is that they have really just turned this into a mobile first Mm. uh, restaurant, fast casual uh, chain. So when you look at the fact that nearly 40% of their total food and beverage revenue is coming from digital sales, I mean, I know just from firsthand when my wife and I go to pick up Chipotle for us and the kids, there are more people picking up the bags that are being put out because of those mobile orders, including ours, then people just like popping in out of the blue and, and placing an order in the, in the now seemingly antiquated way of showing up on an impulse and talking to someone about what you want. You're just doing it on the phone. You just pick up the bag and you go. Paul, are they still poking around on trying uh, different brand concepts with, you know, other types of food or is that uh, not something that uh, they've, they've done recently? No, they, I, I am aware that they have still uh, been looking at other uh, restaurant concepts, but I think that really this is a company that in the same way that, you know, McDonald's is McDonald's. I mean, mm. it's not going to, I think, have these aspirations of turning themselves into a conglomerate that has multi-brands like a restaurant brands with Burger King and Popeyes and Tim Hortons or uh, Yum Brands with uh, KFC, Pizza Hut, and Taco Bell. I mean, Chipotle may have other smaller concepts, but I don't get the sense that this company is looking to turn itself into a multi-brand, fast, casual giant. Why do you need to as long as Chipotle has the success and popularity that it's facing right, that it's that having right now? Very good. Paul, if anyone wants to uh, read what you're putting out these days, where do they go to find it? 
they can go to paulrlamonica.substack.com. I've set up uh, Substack just uh, for free right now just to kind of get some thoughts out there about the markets and uh, economy. And, uh, you know, we'll see how it goes. I may make it uh, a subscription option at some point down the road, but uh, for now it is free. So I'd be happy to have more readers for that. I'm posting like one or two times a, a day. So. Fantastic. Paul, appreciate you joining us. Have a great weekend. Thank you very much. Appreciate it, guys. That is Paul Monaco talking about Chipotle.